And now, from Boston Symphony Hall, Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra. Tonight, an evening at Pops. I'm Al Gates. Come on along. Tonight, from Symphony Hall in Boston, it's Evening at Pops with Arthur Fiedler, the Boston Pops Orchestra, and tonight's special guest, the cast from Sesame Street. Arthur Fiedler, Boston's grand man of music, and his special guest from Sesame Street. Bob McGrath, who is Bob. Matt Robinson, who plays Gordon. Loretta Long is Susan. Mr. Hooper, played by veteran actor Will Lee. And the rarest bird of all, Big Bird. They'll be doing many of the songs from Sesame Street a little later on tonight's program together with the incredible Jim Henson Muppets, Ernie, Kermit the Frog, and Cookie Monster for the special Sesame Street Evening at Pops. Also on this evening's program, Mr. Fiedler has chosen many selections for the young and the young at heart. And tonight, the audience is full of children, ready to enjoy this Evening at Pops and tonight's special guests from Sesame Street. But first, here is Arthur Fiedler to conduct the Boston Pops Orchestra in Entrance of the Gladiators by Julius Fugit. Entrance of the Gladiators by Julius Fugit. Arthur Fiedler conducting the Boston Pops Orchestra. 
And now, the Light Cavalry Overture by Franz van Suppay.
The Light Cavalry Overture by Supé. Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra on Evening at Pops. Music for a summer night on this special children's program. And now, Mr. Fiedler will conduct Kid Stuff, a medley of children's songs arranged for the Boston Pops Orchestra by Richard Heyman.
Good Stuff, arranged by Richard Hamer. This Old Man, entrance of the Siamese children from King and I. London Bridge is falling down, and Alouette, Arthur Fiedler conducting. Next, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, by Burt Bacharach. Burnt back racks, raindrops keep falling on my head. It's time now to bring on the cast from Sesame Street. Together with Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra, they'll be doing two movements from the Toy Symphony by Leopold Mozart and the delightful music from their famous children's television series.
Here's Cookie Monster joining the cast in Sesame Street. Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra for the last two movements of the Toy Symphony by Leopold Mozart. Performing on the toys will be the other Sesame Street people. And Mr. Fiedler has asked Cookie to take the part of the cuckoo. In just a moment, Arthur Fiedler conducts the Toy Symphony, starring Cookie Monster.
Cookie, give me cookie, 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 cookie. with a song. That's a good idea. Why don't we sing that uh, well, song about our special number? Number the two. Number, number, two. number two. Number two. All right? Okay. Sing now, song. this is a song, this is a song all about the things that we have two of. And you can help us out if you get your pointer finger ready. That's this one here. Everybody got your pointer you finger it? ready? You got it? It's this and one. you point to the this things one. that we're going to sing about. Okay? Let's go. Here we go. Bob, you do the first verse. I got two eyes, one, two, and they're both the same size. One, two, I got two eyes, and they're both the same Hold them up high. One, two, two arms have I. I can hold them up high. I've got two ears, they help me. I got two eyes, and they're both the same size. Two hands have I. Say one, two, two, two ways. Please, one, two, I got two knees, they're as round as you please. Good wives, wave them up high. Two arms have I, I can hold them up high. I got two ears and they help me. I got two eyes, and they're both the same As round as you please. Two hands have I to wave goodbye. Two arms have I, I can hold them up high. I got two ears and they help me. We got, got two eyes. eyes. And they're both the same size. Guess what? What? We've got what? two of a lot of things, but one thing is missing. What? Somebody came with us, and he is not here. He was big, and he was yellow, and he had feathers, and what is his name? And Big Bird is lost. Listen, if, if Big Bird is lost, we've got to find him, because I don't know if you knew it or not, but Mr. Fiedler invited Big Bird to conduct the orchestra. He did. And, yeah, and yeah. Big Bird wanted to do that more than anything in the whole world, so we've got to find him. He was practicing all week long in his nest. Oh, we better go look for him. We don't want him to miss this chance. Come on, let's go look for him. All right. Him. Okay. Uh, Gordon and I will go that way. Uh, all right. We'll go this way. This way. Hi-ho, hi-ho, 
with the frog here. Hey, listen. Uh, hey, uh, you know, I thought uh, while everybody was gone, hey, kids. Hey, you know, I thought while everybody was gone, you might enjoy learning a little something, huh? How about you want to learn something? Yeah, well, I thought I might tell you a little bit about a very special color, huh? How about that? But um, first of all, I want to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Everybody listening? Tell me, what color is grass? Huh? Very good, very good. And what color are the leaves on a tree? Green. And last of all, what color am I? Very good. Green. You see, I'm green, and grass is green, and leaves on the tree is green, and Kermit the Frog is green. Well, let me tell you something about being green. I've been thinking about this a lot, and, well, this sort of, I guess this is just how I feel about it, okay? It's not that easy being green, having to spend each day the color of the leaves, when I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. It's not easy being green. It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky. But green's the color of spring And green can be cool and friendly-like And green can be big, like an ocean Or important, like a mountain Or tall, like a tree When green is all there is to be, it could make you wonder why. But why wonder, why wonder, I'm green, and it'll do fine. It's beautiful, and I think it's what I want to be, I guess. Gee, well, we looked around the neighborhood, and we didn't find Big Bird. We couldn't find Big Bird anywhere. I guess we're just going to have to sit here and wait for him. I don't know what happened to him. Well, I have an idea. While we're here, why don't we sing another song? Oh, all right. Maybe we should sing a song about some of the nice people in the neighborhood that we did meet outside. You know that song? You know that song about the people in your neighborhood? Will, will you help us sing it? Okay. Uh, we need a little help from my See? friends, so I'm going to get okay. a couple of people. All right. We have a little help here. We're not sure who we've got. We can't get some names uh, and you're out. you're losing Kristen? one of them. <laughs> okay. And what's this little fellow? Christy. Okay. And what's... Oh, hi there. Hi. We, we have more help than we can use here. I think we better start oh, yeah. singing. You got some new shoes. Those are nice. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, now let's see. What do we do now? Let's sing a song about the people in the neighborhood. We've got all kinds of people in the neighborhood here. And see if you can guess which people we saw outside. Okay, here we go. You see if you can guess who Susan and I saw. If you know the song, sing. Oh. Postman the, always brings that's the, right, the mail <laughs> through rain and snow and sleet or hail. He'll work and work the whole day through to get your litter safe to you. All together now. Cause a postman is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Yes, the postman is a person in your neighborhood. A person that you meet each day. Now, if I took this hat and I put it on you, she'll probably disappear. What would she be? Oh, a fireman is brave, it said. His engine is a shiny red. If there's a fire anywhere about, he'll be sure to put it Oh, I mean, she'll be sure to put it Cause the fireman is a person in your neighborhood. She's in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. And the postman is a person in your neighborhood. Come on, all together. They're the people that you meet while you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet each day. Hey, how about a nice hand for the mailman and the fire? This wonderful word. Take a look at it. Oh, this wonderful word. This is the most wonderful word I've ever seen. Look at that word. You see? Oh, Big Bird, that's not. Big Bird! It says, Abkadeki Jekyllmanakur Stuwixin. But Big Bird, this Big Bird. Wow! That's not. What a wonderful word! Huh. It, it's big, big bird, it's not. Abkadeki Jekyll and Up, where Stuwix is. It's the most remarkable word I've ever seen. Abkadeki Jekyll and Up, where Stuwix is. I wish I knew exactly what I mean. It starts out like an A word, as anyone can see. But somewhere in the middle, it gives off a word to me. Kadefki Jekyll and not where Suwix is. If I ever find out just what this word can mean, I'll be the smartest bird the world has ever seen. Ah, uh, a big bird. Big bird, it's not. I'd be kind of an elephant, or a funny kind of kazoo, or a strange exotic turtle you never see in a zoo, or maybe it's kind of a doggy, a particular shade of blue, or maybe a pretty flower. Nah. Not with a name like that. Uh-uh. Abkadefki Jekyllman, not for two witches. It's the most remarkable word I've ever seen. Abkadefki Jekyllman, not for two witches. I wish I knew exactly what I mean. It starts out like an A word, as anyone can see. But somewhere in the middle, it gets awful clear to me. Kadefki Jekyllman, not first two victims. If I ever find out just what this word can mean, I'll be the smartest bird the world has ever seen. Big Bird! <laughs> big Bird! Big yeah. Bird! Uh, uh, this is not a word, Big Bird. This, this is the alphabet. 
Could everybody say the alphabet with Big Bird so he can practice? Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, O, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So it's just the alphabet. Wow. Hey. Well, look, I, I'm going to have to uh, run along because I'm practicing my counting. Oh, you're practicing your counting. You've got to right. be able to count to conduct an orchestra. You're I'll right. Be here. right. I'll be back. Okay, Big Bird. Okay. Bye. I don't think we should let him go by himself. He might get lost again. He's going to get lost. We better go with him. Uh, Big okay. Bird. Wait, wait a minute, Big Bird. Did you, did you hear, did you hear them? Say that alphabet, Mr. Hooper. Oh, they know the alphabet, all right. Okay. They sure do. It's time now to do something else. I want to see if you know how to do this. Now, this is a game. And if you watch Sesame Street, you know all about this game. And it's a game that you play best if you get quiet. If you just get a little bit quiet, you can play this game. That's right. Just a little That's quiet. Right. Okay? Okay. Now, it's a pretend game. And what you pretend is that you're dirty. And you've been out playing all day and you've gotten dirty. And Mr. Hooper? Yes? When you get dirty, how do you get clean? Oh! You take a wash. You take a, take a wash? Yes. Okay. Then everybody wash. Start washing. Everybody wash your hands. Get them up, get them up, get them clean. Everybody wash your face. That's right, wash your face. Now check this one out. Everybody wash your elbows. Now I present to you a man who understands cleanliness. Mr. Hooper is going to tell you how to get clean. Okay, Mr. Hooper. Everybody, I guess, I want to tell them why they're paying attention to us now. Everybody wash your ankles. Okay. Wash your ankles. Wash your ankles. Everybody wash your kneecaps. Wash your kneecaps. Everybody wash your hair. Wash your hair. Everybody wash your everything. tubby washing because washing is just about the most fun thing that I do and you know why well I've got my fluffy suds in my tubby here and I've got my uh, my nifty little scrub brush here with my nifty little scrub brush to scrub my back with me and uh, then I've got my fluffy towel here to dry myself off after uh, after I get all wet you see but but there's one thing there's one thing and that makes tubby time the very best time of all. He's a very special friend of mine, my own favorite little pal. And you know who I'm talking about? Here he is. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Oh, ho, ho, de -o. rubber ducky, joy of joy. When I squeeze you, you make noise. Rubber ducky, you're my very best friend, it's true. Oh, every day when I make my way to the tubby, I find a little fellow cute and yellow and chubby. Ba -ba -dum, 
Dubby. Rubber Ducky, you're so fine. And I'm wishing that you're mine. Rubber Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Ducky, you want me to scrub your head? <laughs> How about some else I can scrub your back now, Rubber Ducky? <laughs> he likes that, I bet. Rubber ducky, you're so fine, and I'm lucky that you're mine. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of. Rubber ducky, I'd like a whole pond of. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Very nice, Ernie. Where'd you go? Come on, Big Bird. Come on, Big Bird. It's your big chance. Come on, you're going to conduct the orchestra. Come on, Big Bird. Let's go. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. All right. Hey, all right. I am all ready to conduct the orchestra. You are? Yes, I've been practicing my counting. Mr. Fadler said it was very important. What, what, what song are you going to conduct, Big Bird? Fiedler. Oh, yes, Fiedler. I'll try to get that right. Right, Mr. Looper? Hooper. 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 <laughs> May I borrow your bat? Bat Oh, <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> I'm gonna conduct. <clears throat> Good luck, All Big right. Bird. You can do it. Go ahead, Big Bird. Bird. Here we go. <laughs> Just pay attention here. Here we go. <clears throat> One, two. Quite get it, they didn't do too good that time. Uh, try again, Big Bird. Well Go ahead. Uh, I, uh, I, okay. <laughs> try again, Big Bird. Please, Come gentlemen, on. a little more dolce. A little more dolce. A little more what? Uh, less attack or something. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, five, seven, nine, a two, a three, a five. Big Bird. They big, can't big bird. play. Hey, Big Bird, wait a minute now. It's not them. It's not them? <laughs> no, it's you. Me? Now, yes, your, your counting is incorrect. Yeah, My Big, counting big is Bird. Wrong? Yeah, wrong. It, was, it was wrong, Big Bird. Now, now look, I'm going to try to get you some help, okay? Who can Every, help? Everybody out there can help. Them? Sure, because they all know how to count to 10. Now, if you count to 10 for me, let Big Bird listen to you, and that way he'll be able to conduct the orchestra, okay? All right, everybody together now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you got that, Big Bird? That's very good. I think I've got it. All right, try okay. again. This time we can do it because I, I can count properly. Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. And uh, don't call me Big Bird from any anymore, okay? Call you? What are we supposed to call you? Call me Maestro. Oh, Maestro. <laughs> oh, Maestro. <laughs> Maestro. Okay. Maestro. All right, band. You did very well that yeah. time. So let's see if you're good enough to go backwards, okay? Back backwards. Count backwards. Be careful, Big Bird. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Uh, Mr. Foodler? Feedler. Feidler. 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 Uh, Mr. Feidler, would you, you know, you're kind of good at conducting them, too. 
Would you mind doing some more? Could you have them place the counting song? Okay, we're gonna do my, you know what my favorite number is? No, what is your favorite What's number? What's your favorite number, Big Bird? It's five. Five? Okay. Five. Right. Five. It's all about five. It's all about five. <laughs> Watch your okay, tail, Big Bird. One, two, two, three, four, five. different percussion notes. conductor and with a fantastic audience you so you remember we'll be around on television and remember this keep this in mind it's a magic carpet ride hey, hey. Sesame Street, Gordon, Mr. Hooper, Bob, Susan, and Big Bird. The Jim Henson Muppets, Kermit the Frog, Ernie, and Cookie Monster. This concludes tonight's Evening at Pops, the night when Sesame Street came to Symphony Hall. You also heard the entrance of the Gladiators, a light cavalry overture, kid stuff, raindrops keep falling on my head, the toy symphony, and the delightful music from Sesame Street. Big Bird, Susan, Gordon, Mr. Hooper, and Bob, with Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra. Evening at Pops.